Cthulhu may swim slowly, but he always swims left. Howdy, I'm Butch, and I'm here to talk about the leftward ratchet. Cthulhu is a mythical creature from an H.P. Lovecraft story written in the uh, 1920s. The line about Cthulhu always swimming left was from a gentle introduction to unqualified reservations, the blog. In this blog post, Mencius Moldblog uses Cthulhu as a metaphor for creeping leftism. Now, I'm not a big fan of leftism, but this narrative, it sets up a problem. The first problem is that in this narrative, leftism is presented as this irresistible, implacable force. It is magnified and personified in this cosmic demon, Cthulhu. So the first problem is that leftism is presented as inevitable. The second problem is that leftism is presented as something cosmically strange and unknowable. The third problem is that leftism is presented as evil, in contrast to us, the people who are good. So in the neo-reactionary Cthulhu narrative, leftism is an implacable, inscrutable evil. The general problem is that by holding on to this narrative, you relinquish your agency. This is the mythology of a victim, not the mythology of a hero. Now, the leftward ratchet is less pernicious. It still assesses leftism as inevitable, but by describing it mechanistically because a ratchet is a machine, we can come to understand its operation. So I view this to be a more hopeful scientific view because it presents creeping leftism as a problem that an intelligent man could solve. The third way to look at this is through Robert Conquest's Three Laws of Politics. The second law states, any organization not explicitly right-wing sooner or later becomes left-wing. Now, I don't know that it's really a law, but that's a pretty good observation. I fully reject the neo-reactionary view using this narrative of Cthulhu Uh, of the mechanisms of leftism being inevitable, unknowable, and evil. And I reject the leftward ratchet that the mechanism is one way, that it only goes left. And I accept Conquest's second law as an observation that what we're really seeing is just a problem within institutions and how institutions operate. If it's a problem within institutions, then that means we just need to fix our institutions. Now, the process of fixing these institutions, it may not be easy. It may require heroic action on our part. That's the reason why around this particular problem, we don't need narratives of victimhood. We need narratives of heroism. Another way to rephrase the observation is that within an institution, any opportunity to extract rents will be exploited. So we see an opportunity to acquire resources and we see people who are willing to take that opportunity. Now, isn't that interesting? It's almost like that's what every living thing on the planet does, is exploit whatever opportunities are available to it. That's what we're seeing. We're just seeing living beings chasing opportunities and taking them where they can. That's natural. That's life. Life on this planet wouldn't exist unless biological entities did that. So if that's what all life is doing, it's not really wise of us to label that behavior as evil. Instead, it's more wise to recognize the behavior, understand its mechanism, and channel it into productive ends, into ends that serve our needs. And we have a mechanism for doing this. We have seen this behavior, and we have developed a way in order to channel it into uh, productive ends. We call this the market. This is where we put uh, people and organizations in competition with one another. We limit the behavior into acceptable uh, means, and we channel it in order to produce all the goods that we see in Western civilization. So understanding this behavior as natural and normal and something that we can channel into productive ends, then we can assess the Cthulhu narrative and the leftward ratchet really as nothing more than complaints that we have been unable to channel certain activities into productive ends. Conquest's second law is right. Any organization not explicitly right-wing will sooner or later become left-wing. What this means is that 
organizations must be designed in such a way that there is competition against the incentive to extract rents from within the organization. In the West, we have developed a system where liberty and rule of law are in competition with one another. We use our liberty to find and exploit niches, to exploit resources, to exploit opportunities, and then we use rule of law to limit those uh, those opportunities to what we consider moral. So let's look at how rule of law operates. With rule of law, we are using this natural desire to find and exploit opportunities. We take a group of men and we make it profitable for them to limit production to that which is moral. We make it profitable for them to find exploitations of the system and to limit them so that the system will actually run more productively. So essentially, we see that the problem is creating the right incentives for that group to limit parasitism. So there we see the leftward ratchet, the uh, Cthulhu swimming left explained, the natural human drive, the natural biological drive to exploit resources. And we see the solution to it, which is to build better institutions, to use rule of law to limit the uh, behavior such that it only produces ends that are good or acceptable. Now, to be fair, I understand why the neo-reactionaries are using the idea of Cthulhu swimming leftward, and I understand the idea of the uh, the leftward ratchet. the The reason is we have a very big problem here in the West. Uh, our technology of finding deceit, lies, error, and bias in our speech has has not been able to keep up with the ability to produce lies. Essentially, we do not have institutions at this point which are capable of defeating the industrialized propaganda that uh, began in the 20th century. But that means that that technology has to be invented. That is what it means to have a heroic narrative. That that is the goal. That's what we're going to do. That's what we have to do. There is no other alternative than to understand what the mechanism of the problem is and to build technologies to overcome the problem. We know what the solution is. The solution is to use truth and rule of law. We can't end liberty. That's not what we want to do. We have to allow our people to continue to find opportunities and to exploit them. But we need to uh, use truth, uh, our science, and rule of law in order to limit that behavior into that which is acceptable and productive. Cthulhu is not an unconquerable demon. Cthulhu is simply the personification of the drive of living things to exploit resources. We don't have a problem that needs to be cured with magic or religion. We have a problem that needs to be addressed with the tools of science, with technology. The propaganda and pseudoscience of the 20th century is a big problem. It has almost completely consumed the capital of the West in a hundred years. But this is still nothing more than a problem that needs to be solved. It's a mountain that needs to be climbed. It's a battle that needs to be won. And the West can win this battle with the tools they use to conquer the world. Truth and heroism.